in my car in the parking lot for Monday's boot camp, and it's 42 degrees. I'm going to pop up a picture here. I bundled up. I actually have on two shirts and my uh, Columbia sweatshirt. I actually bought this when I went to San Diego, and I figured we can just remove layers if we get warm during the workout, but it is cold. And the last time I was at boot camp on Friday, my fingertips froze. So I figure that I'll get warmed up rather quickly because it's pretty intense, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't freeze the entire hour at boot camp. So I'm here. It is just before 5 a.m. It's about 4.55 a.m. I'm going to grab my weights and my yoga mat out of the back and we'll do boot camp. Oh, I was going to tell you, I did have my protein coffee this morning. I'll pop up here on the screen what's in my protein coffee. I actually have an entire protein coffee recipe video. So if you do protein coffee or you want to do protein coffee, I have a video with lots of different ways to do it. So I'll link that video down below for you. I drank about half of it. I have about half of it left, which I'll finish when I get home. And it's Halloween. So happy Halloween. It'll be late for you guys. But we have a fun day today. I'm going to dress up a little Little bit for Halloween, not costume, just Halloween attire. We're going to hand out candy to the kids tonight. I'm going to make a really good hearty dinner. So we have lots of good stuff today. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss any what I eat in a days, which are every Wednesday. And don't forget, I do five videos every week. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you would like to chat with me directly. And of course, links, discounts to my favorite things, everything I share with you today, and my Facebook group, come join us there, are all down in that description box. So let's freeze slash get sweaty slash do boot camp. It is time for breakfast. I am home. I am ready for the day. I am decked out in all the Halloween gear because we're expecting two to 300 kids tonight for trick-or-treating. I'm going to try to get a little bit of video of trick-or-treating. I think we're going to sit outside in our driveway just so that kids aren't ringing the doorbell 7,000 times tonight with the dogs. And I'm going to do it with my neighbor. So I'm pretty excited, but I need to eat breakfast. I'm hungry from boot camp and I'm cold. It is chilly here. As you saw, it was like 44 degrees when I went to boot camp and even my hands are cold. So I'm going to do a hot breakfast. I am going to do, as you saw, one of the Gilbert sausage. These are the basil, mozzarella, and sun-dried tomato. I love these. These are my favorite Gilberts. They are 120 calories, 13 grams of protein. And then I'm going to make a scramble. So I'm going to use a little bit of light shredded mozzarella and then I have some spinach. I have some lettuce mix and some spinach. I'm going to add some spinach for some leafy greens, eggs of course, and then I'm going to have some blueberries as a side for some healthy carbs and some fiber post-workout. I'm going to weigh out some blueberries. I think I'm gonna do 60 grams. Yeah, I'm gonna do 60 grams of blueberries. So here is my breakfast for today. Of course, I'm using a Halloween plate, my little Creep It Real plate. This looks incredible. So what I did is the Gilbert sausage, one egg, some spinach, and a couple tablespoons of light mozzarella, and then you saw me weigh out 60 grams of blueberries. So I'll go ahead and put points, macros, calories here on the screen for you. As soon as I get done eating, we're going to go ahead and get dinner started. I am making comfort food, 
crock pot beef stew. So I wanna get it started so that it has a chance to cook all day. The meat will get nice and tender. So we'll start dinner as soon as I finish breakfast. So cheers. All right, we're gonna start our beef stew in the crock pot. The dogs are playing in the background, so let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need some potatoes, tomato paste. I'm gonna throw in a zucchini because I have this one in my fridge that needs to be used up. One large sweet potato, an onion, red bell pepper, a couple of large carrots, lots of stew meat. Mine's still a little bit frozen, but it'll be fine. And then I have some paprika, bay leaves, salt and pepper. I'm going to use crushed tomatoes in place of diced tomatoes. The recipe actually calls for white wine and bouillon cubes, which I'm omitting. So I'm gonna use a big can of crushed tomatoes for some extra liquid, some broth of your choice, flour, and some minced garlic. I'm going to go ahead and dice up all my vegetables and get those ready to go. I went ahead and threw my stew meat in the microwave on defrost to see if we can get it a little bit less frozen. So I added my stew meat to my crock pot. I'm adding a third of a cup of flour, and then I'm going to just toss that to coat. I have all of my chopped up vegetables and potatoes. I'm going to add those. You can go ahead and put those right on top of the stew meat because we'll be stirring this a lot throughout cooking. I'm going to add a couple big spoonfuls of minced garlic, and then just kind of stir through the vegetables a little bit. I'm going to add my tomatoes. A quarter cup of tomato paste, smoked paprika, salt and pepper, and then we want to give that just a quick stir. We want to make sure that the tomatoes get mixed in really well with the vegetables and make their way down to the stew meat. Lastly, we're going to toss a couple of bay leaves on top for some flavor, throw our lid on, and I'm going to start it out on high, and I'll probably eventually turn it down to low, but we want it to cook for about six hours. Morning snack time. I'm keeping it pretty simple. By the way, my stew is smelling amazing. I just came in the kitchen and was like, woo, that smells so good. I am going to do a healthy eating all the time and go bar. You guys know I love these. The macros on these are amazing. They are nice and clean. This is the natural almond butter protein bar with blueberry and dark chocolate. So good. It has these big dark chocolate chips in it. Really good flavor. 220 calories. Of course, the points will be here on the screen for you. But this is such a satisfying snack. It's a little higher in points, but it definitely keeps me full. And I'm going to do a little bit later lunch today so we can do a little bit later dinner uh, because of trick-or-treating and Halloween. So morning snack is healthy eating bar, and I'll link these down below with 10% off for you. I'm so excited to have this indoor grill as part of my small appliances in my kitchen. This grill is absolutely incredible and extremely versatile. You can grill up to four steaks, six drumsticks, you can do vegetables. It is a hybrid of an air fryer and a grill. So your standard air fryer only air fries, the Z-Star G701 air grill grills as well. So you get perfectly cooked, juicy and tender meats, seared to perfection, and you'll even get that golden crispy skin, evenly browning the meat till it's perfectly cooked and juicy. There's four accessories that are dishwasher safe, easy to clean nonstick surfaces. We have the nine by 12 high density grill grate, the barbecue griddle, which gives you all those barbecued lines, the crisper basket for air frying and some cooking tongs. It's a seven in one versatile grill. You can cook everything from bacon, you can roast, grill, cook vegetables, preheat, dehydrate, and air fry. So this is multiple kitchen appliances in one. You can dehydrate, air fry, and grill all in one appliance. I'm really excited about this. It's definitely designed for a smarter life. Z-Star is a woman-owned startup company featuring easy to use, energy saving, and quality in mind products. And the indoor grill is one of the nicest small kitchen appliances that I've ever purchased. I love that it has the transparent see-through viewing window that allows you to observe the cooking status without lifting the lid. There's also a light that will turn on so that you can see your food cooking. Steaks will be ready in six minutes. Well, on the barbecue, it takes about 15 minutes. In addition to traditional stainless steel heating tube, the grill is 
created with a halogen heating tube which expedites heating up to 450 degrees. The electric grill works at a noise less than 60 decibels, much lower than its counterparts, and it allows you to barbecue inside without smoke and 85% less fat than ordinary grilling and frying. I love all the accessories that come with it, and it is a four quart capacity, which makes it suitable for families with anywhere from three to five people. It has these nice little handles here that makes it really easy to pull out the griddle. I'm going to put in the air fryer basket. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. Add in my delicata squash. My grill's already warmed up from the fish, so we don't have to put it on another preheat. But add in my delicata squash. I'm going to spray it as well with just a tiny bit of cooking spray just so that my kinders the blend which I'm gonna use on the squash too sticks a little bit better and we'll flip this and shake this throughout the process go ahead and close your lid we're going to select air crisp it defaults it to 420 minutes and hit start and once again we can see our delicata squash crisping away we're gonna flip a little bit Ooh, this is looking so good I like it really really crispy all right, our squash is done. Look at how good that looks. So here's my lunch for today. All of this is cooked in the seven in one indoor grill from Z Star. I am quite impressed. I'm absolutely loving this. Of course, I'll link it down below for you guys with a massive, massive discount, but I am having a piece of the fish. I do have a tablespoon of tartar sauce. I like to dip my fish in tartar sauce. And then I have some of the delicata squash, which I'm really excited about. And then I'm going to have one of my pumpkin oatmeal chocolate chip cookies I made in my meal prep. If you didn't see that meal prep, you've got to see it. The recipes, 10 out of 10. So this is going to be lunch. I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. We went to Duncan and we got an iced Americano. I did two cream because otherwise it's all cream. And then I did two pumps of regular pumpkin syrup. Usually it's three pumps in this size, an extra shot of espresso. So hopefully this is all my Halloween dreams in a coffee. Oh, that is so good. It is super sunny out. This is absolutely delicious. Mm. Perfect coffee, perfect sweetness. We just came outside and look, gross. Look at that centipede. I'm pretty sure it's dead because it's not moving. No, no, you leave it, Bubba. His mommy's gonna get it. Oh, gross. You have your Halloween baby? <gasps> you got your Halloween baby from your box box on Halloween. Shockingly, he has not shredded it yet. Lola's in bed. Not interested in getting up at all. Yeah, Palmer, that's the coolest Halloween ghost. Yeah, get it, Diesel. Diesel, get him. Get him. Get your brother. Go get it, bud. Go get Palmer. Fun outside with the little turd. It is such a beautiful day today. I mean, absolutely incredibly beautiful day today. And I wanted to give you guys some more WW Weight Watcher tea, some more updates. I actually was sent a DM by someone who works for Weight Watchers. I'll actually pull it up here on my phone so I can give you the exact information. But she let me know and confirmed a lot of the things that I talked about in my new WW Changes video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below for you. But she did confirm a few things about what's happening with the changes. No, Palmer, mommy's working, honey. Okay, so the name, the name of the program. So if you missed that video, let's back up a little bit. The new Weight Watchers program is basically backtracking to the old Weight Watchers program. So it's going to be very similar to the old blue plan. So prior to personal points, there was the blue plan, the purple plan, and the green plan. We're basically going back to freestyle or the blue plan with a couple of additions. So we have some extra zero point foods like popcorn and non-fat cottage cheese. Neither of those were zero point foods on any of the old programs with the exception of the current program, personal points. So we are going to be getting those foods as zero points. There was some discussion on what's it gonna be called. We heard the word core roaming around. We heard the word premium rolling around. So the individual who works for Weight Watchers confirmed with me, Palmer's whining because he wants to play. You are just ridiculous. Can't get anything done around here. Okay, so she wanted to confirm that the word core is the new name for the digital Weight Watchers program, and the word premium is what they're going to call workshops. So if you sign up to actually attend in-person workshops, you're signing up for the premium program. If you sign up for digital only, it's core. And they're going to just call the program 
the Weight Watchers program. So it's not the blue plan, it's not freestyle, it's not personal points. It's supposedly gonna be called Weight Watchers program. The first round is looking to roll out on November 14th and then the rest of the world will get the new plan on November 29th. So it does, she said it doesn't specify who is in the first rollout, but it seems like all of the existing members. So if that's the case, existing members will transition from personal points to the new Weight Watchers program as of November 14th. And then other individuals may be new members, new signups, will have the new app as of November 29th. So it looks like they're kind of rolling it out slowly and in phases, which is actually a good thing because it's always overwhelming when programs change. And that's the hard thing about Weight Watchers is it changes all the time. And you have to program proof your diet because with all the changes that WW does on a consistent basis, it's hard to get caught up. It's hard to stay consistent. It's hard to even know what the heck is going on before it changes again, which I think is one of the downfalls of Weight Watchers. But on that same note, I think that this transition backwards is actually good for Weight Watchers because personal points just didn't work for a lot of people. And we know that Freestyle and the colored plans, blue, green, purple, they worked better for people. They seem to have more success. And like I mentioned in my video, we had a huge rash of people quit WW with personal points. And the big thing and what I really think is what's catapulting this whole entire change with Weight Watchers besides the new CEO is community. When they went to personal points, it literally took away all community, especially for us content creators, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, bloggers, the community is gone because what points are on for me are not the points for you. So it takes away that sense of community. We're not all on the same page. We're not all doing the same program. We're not all working it the same way. And when we're sharing recipes and food ideas and grocery hauls, the sense of community is gone because it's different points for everybody. And I think that the community mixed with the personal points plan and just not being beneficial for a lot of people. I think a lot of people quit and the company suffering. And they're trying to get back the members. They're trying to get back the sense of community, which is not a bad thing. But you also have to remember that Weight Watchers is a business and they're going to do what they have to do to maintain a business. So I know there's people that are happy about it. There's people that aren't happy about it. I mean, we know we can't please everyone. I know I definitely claim can't please everyone here on my channel. But before we go into this new program, I hope that you give it a chance. Like I hope that you open up your mind, have positive thoughts, think about it in a positive way because it may actually be a really good move for you and it may be just what you need to see success. So I'm excited for everything to roll out. Of course, I'll do a video as we learn more. I'll insert clips into what I eat in a days and weigh-ins and give you all of the information that I find out. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on because I do what I eat in a days every Every Wednesday, weigh-ins every Friday, and then of course, when the new plan rolls out, I will do an hi Palmer. I will do an entire dedicated video about the new plan. So hopefully that helps answer a few more questions. We're getting a little more info, a little more tea every day. I'm going to make a protein smoothie for an afternoon snack, and I just placed an order with Herbal Vineyards. I've shared this on my channel before. They have raw sea moss that is absolutely incredible. There are so many health benefits associated with sea moss that I went ahead and picked up two of the gels, the golden and the purple, as well as quite a few other products. So if you didn't want to pick up the sea moss gel, but you still want the benefits of sea moss, they actually come in capsule form. And this is super convenient and a great way to reap all the rewards without having to utilize the raw sea moss or the gel sea moss, or you can use this in conjunction with those products. This is organic sea moss, bladder rack, and burdock root vegetable capsules. They're 1500 milligrams a piece, 60 capsules. You take two of these per day. 102 nutrients for the body in just these little capsules. They help with daily function, including iodine, zinc, calcium, potassium, sulfur, iron, and silica. It's also naturally loaded with selenium, phosphorus, manganese, B-complex vitamins, vitamins and vitamins A, C, E, G, and K, plus so much more. I mean, it is a nutrient supplement powerhouse. CMOS helps boost your immunity, helps support your thyroid. That is one of the main reasons that I incorporate CMOS into my life is because I do have an underactive thyroid. And by taking a supplement, whether it's the gel, the raw CMOS, or the capsule form, it really helps regulate my 
thyroid and makes it function more properly, which leads to more weight loss. It also strengthens your joints and smooths your skin, all of which I need. I need all the joint strengthening I can get with boot camp, and I'm almost 50 years old, and any smoothing of the skin, I'm always, always here for that. So these are a great option as well. There's also the raw sea moss. There's the gel that I like to use in my smoothies, but you can also incorporate in the raw sea moss. The instructions on how to prepare the sea moss are listed on the back of the package. But once you prepare the sea moss, you actually can add two to four tablespoons to smoothies, soups, teas, or your favorite dish. It doesn't add any flavor at all, but is going to give you all the benefits of the sea moss. Sea moss is fortified with the 92 of the 102 minerals that we need for our body to sustain itself and to live a healthy lifestyle. Amongst all of its other popular health benefits, it's also great for thyroid support in cases of low iodine levels, improvement of mental function, better emotional health, prevention of nasal congestion, boosted immune system, eliminates mucus within the body, treatment of chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases such as bronchitis, and it aids in fighting respiratory infections such as sore throats. Another really great thing about this, if you follow a high protein diet, we know that constipation number two can be an issue. Sea moss actually helps with good gut bacteria and helps regulate your stool. So it's going to make going number two a little bit more easier. So it actually serves as a gentle laxative. You can also apply sea moss directly to your skin. Once you prepare it, you can apply it to the skin and it serves as an at-home facial. Again, you can add it to soups, smoothies, bowls, anything that you want, that extra boost of vitamins and minerals. And again, there's no flavor or texture associated with it. So the raw sea moss is a great option as well. I'm going to add some sea moss to my protein smoothie. I have shared herbal vineyards with you guys in the past. This is such an amazing, amazing product. Actually, a few of you have reached out to me and said that this sea moss has literally changed your life, that it has helped with inflammation, with your joints, with your thyroid, all of the amazing benefits in sea moss. You can't taste it at all. I mean, you literally can scoop it out of this jar and eat it. But my favorite thing to do is add it to smoothies protein shakes, oatmeal bowls, anything that I'm blending up, it's a great addition. So here's what's going in my smoothie. So I'm gonna do my magic bullet, some Ghost Chips Ahoy protein powder, you guys. If you have slept on Ghost Chips Ahoy, it's the best, hands down, absolutely obsessed. So I'm going to do one scoop of that. And then I always use Fairlife milk because there's 13 grams of protein in one cup. I don't think I'm gonna do a whole cup. I'm gonna do a little thicker shake, like a milkshake type of consistency, like a soft ice cream. That sounds really good. And then of course I'm putting in my Herbal Vineyards sea moss and then half of a frozen banana. So I'm going to weigh out four ounces, which is half of a cup of Fairlife. Like I said, I want a really thick shake. One scoop of my Chips Ahoy. You guys, it's so good. There's little chocolate chip bits in there. Amazing. Half of a banana. And then I'm going to do two tablespoons of my sea moss. We're gonna blend this up. If it's too thick, I'll add just a tiny bit of water to get that right consistency. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I really like it a lot thicker. So half of a cup gives you that really thick consistency. Again, you can't taste the sea moss at all. You're just getting all of the health benefits. So I will go ahead and link Herbal Vineyards down below for you guys with a discount. Highly recommend the sea moss. It is a huge, huge game changer for weight loss and just living a healthier lifestyle overall. So here's where the Halloween candy's been since I bought it at Sam's Club. I made Troy put it way up on the top shelf and then he's getting it down and we'll fill up the bucket. Fingers crossed this is enough for all the kids that are gonna come trick or treat. So here's my little bucket. Oh, you guys might not be focused. There you go. So here's my little bucket. I got this at TJ Maxx, I think for $7.99. And then I got the Reese's pumpkins and then the ginormous 255 pound or 255 piece bag of Skittles and Starburst. So I think what I'm gonna do is just put an assortment in my bucket. I was reading on the Facebook page for our community and they said that some of the trick-or-treaters, like the little, little kids, they can be out as early as like 4.45, 5. So I texted my neighbor and she said, okay, I'll come out as soon as I see kids. So we're gonna sit in our individual driveways and then we thought we would pop over and say hi to each other throughout the night. But hopefully this is about 315 pieces of candy. 
hoping it's enough. I doubt it. I saw some other people posting in the page that they had five or 600 pieces and people were commenting saying that that's not enough. I have no idea. We live in gated, so we might not get as many kids as if we didn't live in gated, but when the candy's out, I'm going in and the lights are off. All right, here we are. First bucket is ready to go. Leftover candy, Troy will refill me throughout the night. All right, stew is done. This is literally the perfect fall Halloween meal. It smells so good. Look at all the chunks of carrots, sweet potato, all the veggies. Make sure you don't serve up the bay leaves to your family. Pull those out as you see, but I'm gonna go ahead and dish up a bowl and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is the beef stew. It looks so good. Like I said, it smells amazing. You're getting in lots of protein, healthy carbohydrates, lots of veggies. I even threw in a zucchini. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Hey, trick or treat. Trick or treat. Good job, Lachlan. Patiently waiting. We're seeing cars come up and down the street, like dropping kids off. Should be getting the mass of kids anytime soon. Lots of trick-or-treaters so far. The best part of living in Arizona is sitting in your driveway handing out candy. So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day Halloween edition. I hope you enjoyed spending a holiday with me, seeing all the good food. That lunch was amazing, handing out candy. So fun, boot camp. It was a fantastic day. I will make sure that the grill, all of the other items, including the sea moss that I shared with you, are all linked down in the description box. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload new videos every single, I upload five videos a week, and Wednesday's always What I Eat in a Day. Check out that description box down below again for everything I shared with you today, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Wednesday. See you in the next one. Bye.